the name of the album is The Ugandan. Din, 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 din. For the new audience, you know, the people who did not follow the journey, the yeah. clear-cut days and past collabs, yeah. who would you say myth is now? Who's the myth that they need to discover now? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm a rapper who is extremely proud of where he's from. You know, we all, we all come from places which, are, which have their, uh, you know, bad side and good side, but I'm, I, I'm happy. I embrace that. It builds... It built the package. It built me. So um, that's who I am. I'm a, I'm a dope MC. Best believe it. Uh, but most importantly, I'm just, I'm just happy to be where I'm from. And I'm happy to share that, those experiences. I'm telling Ugandan stories. As far as your um, you know, solo career goes, when's the next album coming out? Okay, so we're trying to make a Ugandan hip-hop album. You know, so who, who do, who's on my wish list? And I, I, I hit up people... And I'm, I'm extremely happy that the guys came through and said, yeah, we're going to support you in all ways. We have saxophonists. We have traditional instrumentalists. We have incredible vocalists, uh, rappers. It's, it's just, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice package. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for you and congratulations. Do we have a name for the album and do we have a tentative release date? The name of the album is The Ugandan. And she's like... <laughs> I said that you got it, and she's like, Vossi? <laughs> Vossi? <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, there you got it, there you got it. Um, feature my grandmother on the album. Ooh, that's dope. <laughs> I featured my grandmother on the album. So that, that's how far back I, I, I took my stories and everything. So with the solo career, I'm, I'm in a good place now. Initially, I'd, I was, people have, ha, didn't know that I was actually like, yeah, I'm done. I don't have to prove myself anymore. I was done rapping. But then, how can how can the meat be done rapping? Right? Uh, funny thing is, I actually got the bug in Nairobi the last time we linked. That's when I got the bug back, and it was one of those random nights. And I think I, we left and went back to the to the apartment, and I was like, "Yo, I I want to rap again." And Navi <laughs> was like, "Finally," because he hates it when I'm not when I'm not involved 100. percent You know, so I was like. I think we started building the concepts of the new album then. Initially, I was like, I want to work with all these amazing Ugandan artists and all these producers. But when I sat back and thought about it, I was like, okay, let me scale it down. Choose people. I actually, I, I, I created a, a wish list. I wanted to work solely with one producer on the whole project. I'm excited about it because I want people to hear it. Before... I was always excited about the album because I rapped so well and I was like, who will challenge me? But now I want people to actually hear the music and hear the stories that I'm saying. And I feel like I'm saying something interesting, you know, which I hope people will appreciate when they hear it. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful story. Ah, we should end this interview now. I'm just so excited for you, you know, as my friend and as a person I know and as somebody I know is totally talented, you know. I'm excited to see this body of work and for other people to experience who the myth is and just get lost in the bars and the raps and the rhymes, you know. I'm very happy that I was part of this Yo. Reincarnation of the sp oh. the real spirit of. I swear we, we, were, we were in. I think I think you left us in the in the club. Yeah. We took it from the performance and we were like party time. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, guys. <laughs> I like creating concept albums. Mm -hmm. My my other album was Destination Africa, and that's when I tapped in. I, I hit up Calligraph, yeah. Ay for a record. Th that was the East African record. I hit up. Um, uh, J Town and Screech for a record that was a West African record. I had Ik Chuku on it. I had so many people on it because I was trying to collaborate with people. I actually appreciate and I salute. I, I listen to throughout the continent. Anything you want to school us on the state of hip hop in um, UG? You know, what are the vibes? Um, the state of UG is dope. Is in a good place. I f I feel like it's in a good place. Uh, in East Africa, I think we're the only ones with the with the hip hop awards. Already that lets you know that people are paying attention to what we're doing. The genre, just off the fact that we have awards, the genre keeps getting better. Um, there's incredible young talent. People are understanding that, yes, you can rap in your local languages, and yes, 
you can rap in your in your English and all this and and just all that makes for great listening. So it's in a good place. Okay. Isn't it? That's where we're leaving it. Okay. It's on that very good note yeah. that we're ending this. Thank you so much, The Myth. It's been a long day and I was just like, you have to come for this interview and it was totally worth it. I hope the people watching at home have known something about The Myth, about the Ugandan hip-hop scene and about Clear Cut and you have to know that his album is coming out, so look out for that. Yes. I wish you well in everything. Keep remaining super cool. Um, we want to be like you. Thanks, Onyx. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm almost um, forgetting to close the show. So um, that's it. On VIP Access, subscribe to my channel and make sure you follow the myth. The myth music. The myth music on all platforms. I know. I know. <laughs> Peace. Yeah.